Hi there friends, it's Susan. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how I decorate my, I'm not even sure what you call this, they're just shelves in the kitchen and I love decorating them for all the seasons and holidays. It used to be a buffet and hutch and I took the, the hutch off and we added some shelves. It used to be my coffee bar. Of course, I had to have another area with another coffee bar. So anyway, here's what I'm going to do for Easter and spring. And I have the same plates. I usually keep the same plates up at the top and that frame, it just gives a little bit of a background. And then I'm adding some plates and a jug of tulips. And I love the look of the bowls when they're stacked on an angle. And then I added some old vintage, vintage books. They're not real vintage. Well, they could be vintage. I'm not sure that I bought them at the Salvation Army. They look kind of old. And beside that, I'm going to be putting a little wooden box that I had sort of created and I put a knob on it. And then look at this cute little bunny rocker that I got at HomeSense. Another couple of bowls. And a tall white jug beside that. Now the next shelf, you're actually see, seeing me clean for a change and I'm using the Mrs. Myers, the peony scent. You know how I love dusting. Yeah, right. So for the backdrop on this shelf, I'm going to be using that same wicker basket. And I had made this little shelf from something I bought at the Dollar Tree. It was a sign. I painted over it and created little grooves and then I added a little bracket that says Easter and then I'm going to be putting my wire basket back with the wooden box. I think I got that for a dollar at some thrift shop and a little white little tiny crock. Can you believe I got these plates at the Salvation Army? I mean you can buy them at Home Sense and Home Goods right now for five dollars each and I think I got the whole set for, for $3. Anyway, so I'm adding some faux baby's breath and this cute little bunny that I got at Target. They were in a set of three. I was gonna paint them gold at first, but Anyway, I got this um, Ray Dunn mug in the States the last time I went that says Early Bird. I'm really wanting the one that says Cute Chick. And I had it in my hands so many times I never bought it. That's the way it goes. I'm using these two corbials beside some books that I had painted that I had bought from the Dollar Tree. And I got this canister at Hobby Lobby. And I got a new bunny, and I got him at Hobby Lobby as well. He looks so vintage. And here's that little jelly bean Ray Dunn bowl that I had purchased a while back at, Hob at Home Sense. Okay, so here it is, the third shelf. This is the actual buffet. Cleaning again. And I'm using this little flat wicker basket that I had purchased at Hobby Lobby. And this is actually a runner. I folded it up and I'm just letting the, the end show where it says La Pen and the bunny picture. My, my uh, old crock with my rolling pins. And here's the little egg holder that I got at Target putting some wooden eggs in them. I got these at Michael's last year. Beside that, I had put three little plates and a little wooden cloche 
and inside the cloche I'm going to be putting the little measuring cups that I had got with the little bunny on it at home sense. And I love this metal um, bunny. It's supposed to be like one of those die cast. Um, I'm not even sure what they're called, but I love them. And I got this basket at Michael's and I'm putting a little towel in this on the side of it and adding my chocolate bunny. I love this pretend chocolate bunny and I'm putting the faux carrots that I had bought at I think TJ Maxx, the fabric ones, and a few stems of, well, they're not, it's one bunch I actually, and it's that little bunch that I had bought at the Tattered Tulip that kind of looks like some sort of daisy. My famous little box. I love using that on all the holidays. It just makes it look more vintage. And here's that little bunny I got at Walmart. Fits in perfectly. My wooden spoons that I got at Hobby Lobby. And another one of those little Target bunnies. Fits in perfectly. Candlesticks that I've had a while. And three more little plates. With the nest and some eggs. And here's that little measuring jug with the matching bunny and the little measuring spoons that I had got at HomeSense. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow on golden. And down below, I just had a little crate and I put a wooden bunny from Target and some flowers. I know it's a lot, but I think it looks really pretty and it turned out beautiful. I am not a minimalist. Can you tell? So next I'm going to decorate this little table in the corner and of course first I'm going to clean it. I haven't cleaned it since Christmas I think. There was a lot of glitter on it and dust. First I'm going to start with a wooden box, sort of a crate that I made and I put a handle on the front of it and painted it to make it look like a tray, adding a jug, some flowers,
Here's my OCD. So now I took a little um, stand, cake plate, put a little wood riser on top of it, and added a cute little bunny that I got at the Tattered Tulip last year. And of course, we always have to add a cloche. using um, a little clay pot that I had painted last year for some height. And then I'm going to be adding a bird's nest. I put a little bit of moss inside and then I'm going to add three more wooden eggs. Here's a little riser I got at Hobby Lobby. I should have bought more of them. They come in, they come in handy. And this is a little ceramic colander I got at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to add these little um, grapevine carrots that I got at Walmart this year. And here's my last little bunny from Target. Oh, and these are my cute little ducks that I got at Target. Thanks to Rachel Penton at Penton Farmhouse, I copied her again. That girl's got some good taste. So next I'm going to decorate my mantle. It's a very small mantle, so not a lot fits on it. And of course, when I put my mirrors on it, it takes up a lot of room, but at least I got it cleaned. And these are the same topiaries I usually put in the spring. And I added this little window mirror. I didn't want too much on the fireplace. There's enough. And I put a bunny. And I added some faux uh, baby's breath. And I sort of cascaded it around the bunny. At first I was going to put some greenery and then I thought I have enough with the topiary so I added the white baby's breath. I had made this little bunny garland a few years ago with some wooden bunnies from the Dollar Tree and I painted them and just strung them on some twine and I like the look of that. There's a lot of uh, garlands out there that really don't match my decor theme so this is just enough. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I got I gave you a little bit of inspiration and some decor ideas. Now I'm not sure what style I am. It looks a little bit farmhouse doesn't it? But I like all different types of decor. I even like modern. I like modern farmhouse, boho, I like shabby chic, 